A little bit of a lesser known facet of our business here at Tailgate is we actually export a good bit of our product to the United Kingdom. So this is a relationship that we've had for about seven years now where we've been exporting chiefly peanut butter milk stout across the pond. But over the last couple years, the market has shifted drastically. There's been tons of influences into that shift, but whereas domestically in the United States, we've seen what we call the on-premise or on-trade sector of the beer business rebound, uh, it has not done the same for the UK. Uh, nowadays, more and more craft beer drinkers are buying in the off-trade. So that is grocery stores, liquor stores, small stockists, and specialty retailers. We have seen import beers really take off in that market. So for the first time ever, we're actually sending over not just peanut butter milk stout to the United Kingdom, we're sending orange wheat and a special variety of peanut butter and banana milk stout. Now there's a lot that goes into exporting beer. Let me show you a little bit about what's involved in that process. Some of the finer things that goes into putting together a giant order with this is there's different regulations and requirements the UK has that the US doesn't. So we actually have to redesign even what looks like a pretty normal label here or something we're familiar with to make sure we hit in things like the UK's equivalent of the Surgeon General's warning and the correct volumes on these cans. A few of the other things that we do to get ready for these giant shipments so we have to pasteurize every single can to extend the shelf life on this product so it's a little bit more shelf stable, especially if it's making a transatlantic voyage. Additionally, what we're doing is we are shrink wrapping every single one of these cases, again, just for added security through that entire process. So now with seven tap rooms, we get to see peanut butter milk stout every day, not to mention the hundreds of craft beer retailers just in Tennessee carrying that brand. But what's really cool is when we export to the UK, we get to expose that brand to a bunch of new drinkers who've never gotten to try that beer before. So we have to engage with these people through Untapped, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and we get comments like, oh my gosh, I've never had this before. Stone the Crows, this is the best beer I've ever had. And that's not lost on us, and that magic is really, really special. Even cooler, having people come visit the tap room during their vacation to the United States and saying, hey, I found this peanut butter milk style beer at my local stockist in the UK, and I knew when I came to the States I had to check it out. It's really, really special to us. And for that, we're grateful. Here we're at the final part of sending off the order for the UK. So as you can see behind me, we're filling up a container full of beers, uh, all in its 22 pallets going across the seas. So 22 pallets, it's about 53,000 beers, which is really cool. So it's gonna go from here to a port, then it's gonna go across the Atlantic, and then it's gonna unload uh, in the UK where our importer is gonna take it to retailers and stockists across the United Kingdom. Now what's really cool is this is a ton of beer and really special to us. It's not as much beer on this container as we'll can in the next two to three days just to satisfy the Tennessee market. So logistically, the reason why we end up having to do a very interesting pattern, it's called a pinwheel, is that it tightens how the actually container is boxed up. Then we use these dunnage bladders to make it even tighter and well you got to understand that this is going across the atlantic so as it's going across the atlantic this thing's going to jostle a lot so we put corner boards wrap it super super tight and then each one of these cases are individually wrapped so by the time it gets over there it's going to be absolutely mint uh, but i will say that it was definitely a lot of hard work and well worth it because i'm sure all those people in uk are going to absolutely enjoy our peanut butter milk stout banana peanut butter milk stout and orange wheat so there we have it, that's uh, 2,200 cases going to the port, across the ocean, to the UK. Thanks for drinking. <laughs>